You ever hate your job? I I, does, I mean, everyone kind of does. My mic was off. Do you ever hate your job? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sit Down and Shut Up. This is uh, the... That's been, it's been a week since we've been back home after a long journey yeah, I feel good. in today's weather. But I'm expecting things to get a bit weird in the next uh, hour or so. Yeah. Every single mosquito in the world grew larger while we were gone. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand that. I think my hands are larger, too. Yeah, did, I, think my, I think I got smaller. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Because, like, I what, feel what, what feels I just feel, smaller? I just feel a little smaller. I don't, I don't know. Huh. So it's just the two the two notes in between all the black notes. With one with one thing going. Whoa! What? How did you do that? I don't you know. Just pulled, you just reached off the know. screen and you just pulled out a nice coffee. Oh my god. That's incredible. Is JD here? JD is not here. What do you want to talk about, Alexander? You know what I miss? Is that one time that we watched a surgery video. That was really fun. That was fun, and I wanted it to be a recurring segment, but we were on the run for so long that it, <laughs> yeah. we just couldn't, we didn't have time to watch there. a surgery video. You were you were there with me, yes. We have to, like, review it a little bit, so we don't, like... Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we have to make sure that it's Within under fair use. Fair use. I'm thinking knee, 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 knee replacement. Knee replacement. Or a hip. One of those would be great. This one looks gnarly. Okay, this is uh, called Total Knee Replacement, 275,000 views. Okay, let's put it on the big old screen. Right. Come on. The first thing that I want to point out is that your title screen is very bland. You could use a, a little image background, uh, yeah. you know, maybe like a little smiling man. Yeah, maybe do full black background. Yeah. Uh, put a couple skeletons. What what could happen if things go wrong? Yeah. We'd get them really interested. Yeah. All right. So now that we've done some review, let's get on with this fair use protected viewing of a surgery video. <laughs> it it says opening, of, opening skin. of skin and deeper structures. This is what's going to happen oh, here. Oh, good God. Oh, okay. You have to make sure. Did you hear about that guy who is, who's carving Wait, his pause. initials? Okay. What? There was a there was a, a doctor who was carving his initials into spleens that he was operating on. What? Yeah, and somebody found out on, like in a post operation or something. Like they, That's the, there was a different horrifying. doctor, and the doctor was like, "Hey, you got some initials carved into your spleen," or like it was something similar. I don't I don't know if it was a spleen specifically, but it was a doctor who was. It was a kneecap. Mm, let's get back to total knee replacement. Okay. Bone cement mm -hmm. goes into the uh, the hole. Correct. They have drainage tubes in your knees? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Just a bunch of staples? Yeah, that's it. Uh. Okay, I do want to critique this a little bit. Yeah, okay. Uh, press <clears throat> pause. Because I don't remember seeing that they would sterilize. Uh huh. Also, what you really want to do when you're doing uh, some sort of surgery, imagine this is your kneecap. Now, this is for the, the people who made this. Mm -hmm. Typically, you would want to sterilize. Okay, right? Right. And then what you want to do is make, like, a dotted line. It's not just for the sake of trying to draw a straight line. You would also make horizontal lines that, that, inter that inter uh, intersect that line so this is a tip yeah. on procedure for the people who yeah for the okay. people who are now when you make this cut which is the dashed line alex sorry i i'm i'm paying attention okay. yeah now uh if you were to give me throw me a knife <laughs> uh or i'll just get some like scissors or something how about this yeah perfect okay so, you're making the incision. Oh, God. So, now that you have the horizontal lines, okay, when you're putting the skin together, which is a little bit elastic, Alex, uh -huh. you don't want to put it together like this. Uh-huh. 
Right. You might end up doing that. It's a little elastic. I hope so they can see do, what you're doing. <laughs> so what you do is you match up the horizontal lines. Then you can go ahead and staple or make your uh, you sew the leg back together. Wow. Yeah. Wait, wait. Give that. Just gonna do a little bits of arts and crafts. Little bits of arts and crafts. Okay. Um, the animated version differs from the actual procedure. Oh. I think you should include how things can change because people Correct. who watch these want to know mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. And they don't have the patience or the good eyesight to read all that text at yeah. the end. Just add a little dancing skeleton in the corner or something. Exactly. Keep Get it us entertaining. Interest. Keep us interested. Here, uh, a little bit of A little bit of ASMR. There's a... Oh, good God. You know, there's a whole, um... Oh, good God. <laughs> it's the weight of it keeps pressing it. Oh, God. It's so loud. <laughs> it's a mark on the country tree. <laughs> God, you just ruined everyone's life. I have created a new invention. What is that? It is called septic procedure. Which what? just means that you want to expose yourself to as many germs as possible. Oh, wow. This is what a kneecap looks like after, well, after surgery. surgery. <laughs> okay. For all of our 82 subscribers. This might be the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> this might be the best thing Get I out do while you still can. Yeah. Oh, God. You're going to break your neck again. I know. <laughs> Welcome to the doctor's corner. <laughs> I'm the doctor's corner. <laughs> so Mario, tell me. Tell me what your problems are, Mario. Well, I never get sleep. When I do, I don't wake up. I think what your problem is is that uh, you tried sleeping in the first place. Oh, sleep are is, humans is, not is supposed unnecessary. to sleep? Completely unnecessary? Yep. Is that, do you ever sleep? Nope. Oh, boy. How do you, how, how do you uh, have enough energy for the day? That's uh, Doctor's Corner. Join us next week. I know what time it is. You know what time it is. I think we need to apologize. <laughs> It's time. I can't. I mean, what have we been doing this whole podcast? I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry to myself. I'm sorry to you. You guys. I'm sorry to you. Yeah, you. You. Hey, you. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry. Alex, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. I, do you, do you want to play a board game later? I do. What board game are you thinking about? <laughs> sorry. Oh. Why does the piano feel different? I don't know. Something about it. My hands feel puny now. Yeah, because before you could cover the piano, like you actually had trouble playing big pieces on the piano. Do you think... Mm. Do you think this is maybe just a, like a bit... What? A bit more not normal sized, but like... No, in what way? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Because uh, normally the keyboard that we have is... What? One TV tray. Oh my god. Go to Amazon. Okay. Uh, lube? Yeah. L. O. O. L. O. 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 Three O's, I think. Lufa? L. O. 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 B. O. O. B. Uh, no products. You're looking for a book. Yeah, because I can't find that book anymore. And. Mm. I think it has some answers as to why the piano is so not sized the same as it used to be. 
Oh, so you think that's related to us using the Vuju book? That's my first thought. That might be because we used dark magic. Oh, hey, Vuju Citizen Canine Dog Leash. Buy it. Let's add it to the cart. That sounds good. Okay, we got a leash. What do you think a leash will be good for? Yeah, Vuju Citizen. Is it? Are those leashes made out of dog? Yeah, it says dog leash. Yeah, so it must be made out of dogs. Yeah, it's it's made out of canine citizens, registered dogs. You want to do a quick uh, Google search as to what's some some ingredients for like Vu- uh, how to how to undo voodoo? Yeah, how to undo. So it looks like this is this is a dark magic website. Oh my god! Called this, this, Minecraft. Those people Curse are Forge. squares. I don't understand. Is that how humans are supposed to look? No, they've obviously been cursed. It's the Curse Forge oh, right okay. there. Yeah. It sounds like it could work with any recipe out of the box. Or, That's or what somebody said. I think I made a voodoo re- recipe once. Alex, I think I was making a a, 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 a voodoo a voodoo recipe. Once. Voodoo recipe. Okay. And it wanted me to make a roux, uh, so they made me put some butter on a pan, heat it up. Uh huh. You got put equal parts flour. Flour and. Now what, what you do then? Is you what what it's wanted me to do is put milk in it. Mm, so mm. you put a, a a little bit of salt. So now it's thickening thickening up. Okay. And you put a lot of uh, like pepper in it if you want to just make a simple gravy. So you put the cheese in there. That sounds what, luxurious. It's like a four cheese blend. Mm-hmm. And it's so it's a roux with a little bit of milk plus cheese, and you make you have yourself a little cheese sauce. Wow. On the side, you are supposed to be making some macaroni. So you boil, um, not holy water, but like regular water. Okay. Yeah. That's good that you made that distinction. Yeah. You don't want holy macaroni. Abs- Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so then you then you merge your both ingredients. You have uh-huh. al dente cooked macaroni. Got it. And your cheese sauce, and it's called like mac and cheese. And that's the buju recipe. So, so I poured it on my dog, because mm-hmm. uh, he had died. And did it work? Yeah. Well, it was outside. It was raining. Uh-huh. So I dug a grave, and then instead of dirt, you you lie him down <laughs> with your macaroni. Your Sorry, macaroni. I, this is a very sad occasion. Yeah, I don't know why you're laughing. Uh, you like your dog, dog in a bed of macaroni and cheese. My poor dog named Ozzy. Ozzy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I had a dog named Ozzy after uh, an, an Australian man. And um, my cat's name was Scooby. Mm-hmm. Because he liked to scoop <laughs> his poop <laughs> in the uh, in the kitty litter. Uh, and I like to call... When he's scooping up his poop, I like to call him I have Scooby Doo. Is he is he uh four twenty friendly? <laughs> <laughs> Does he uh Scooby Dooby those dudes? <laughs> yes, he doobies and doobies. I used to feed him sandwiches that are this tall. Uh-huh. Because I was that hungry. We'd find ghouls. You know, I actually, I, I remember, I think I remember, I think we were friends when you had Scooby. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. He was a really large cat. He was a very large cat. Spotted and, cat. Yeah. With like floppy ears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he floppy ears a really big nose. And he would say, rut row. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. You used to call me Raggy. So, so I, you you yeah. put him in a grave of macaroni and cheese, mm-hmm. and you didn't finish the story. You said it worked? Yeah. It was raining. I haven't seen him since. Uh, you know what? I, I have I have an, I- an idea. I say yeah. we make the macaroni and cheese. Okay. See if that undoes. We, we cover this in macaroni and cheese. See if that undoes, All right. undoes the consequences of what okay. we've done. But also, also I suggest that we 
just modify the recipe just a tiny bit. Okay. We add just a little something, something, a little potent uh, voodoo, voodoo I ingredient. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, you always hear them talking about bones. Yeah, I was just gonna say they put them on strings. Yeah, and you know, they wear them like yeah, uh, like necklaces and stuff. You could put the bones in the roux. Oh, okay. Make a really thick roux. Okay. With bone marrow. Okay. And I, I think like the easiest bone you can get is like chicken bone. Oh, I was thinking fish. So yeah, chickens. <clears throat> How do you? Uh... Well, we've been doing Pizza Hut all this time. They have they have wings. Oh don't yeah, they? yeah, 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 totally. You want to call Pizza Hut and, and get yeah. the... Yeah. Uh, so we can order some chicken wings from Pizza Hut. We eat the wings. Then we save the bones. Bunch of bones that we can put in our, in our ma- voodoo, voodoo mac and cheese. Okay, uh, I think I'm with you on this. You want to uh, you wanna put... You want it on speaker? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for calling Pizza Hut. Now I take your order. Oh, boy. Uh, we We want some wings, please. Yes, uh, we want. I want a lot of maybe fifteen or so wings. Twenty, make it twenty. Buffalo, buffalo wings. Mm-hmm. Twenty buffalo wings. Yes. Okay. Do you want a pizza? Any. Are we uh, gonna ask for else? sauce? I want. I want ranch. Uh, yeah. Get get some some blue cheese. Just put all your sauces in one cup. Yeah. Just save space. You want all the sauces in one cup? Yes. Sure. I we I, I mean I, I I like all the sauces, but you, I figured like you guys don't want to waste cups on sauces. Yeah. Do you guys um you guys used to have those chicken nugget things? You are like the boneless chicken wings. Oh yeah, yeah. It's easier to eat the wings if they're boneless. Yeah. Yeah. So boneless chicken wings. Yes. Please. Yes. Buffalo sauce. And Did you want to be sauce in cups? Yes, Correct. all the all the sauces in, and in look, a single look, the parma, cup. The, the parmesan and the uh, peppers, please. Okay. Did you want a pizza? I want a pizza. I'm pretty hungry, actually. Okay, let's get. Uh, 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 I want like a ch- uh, like a chicken. Do they have chicken? Um, do they have chicken artichoke? Do you, do you have chicken artichoke? Uh, no, we do not have chicken okay, artichoke. Okay, I'll just okay. do pepperoni. Yeah, pepperoni. No bones, please. Pepperoni. Will you be coming in or am I sending this out? Uh, we'll, we'll have a delivery guy come to us. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll text you our... We're, we're actually live on a podcast, so I'll text you our address. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't want to disclose that. Yeah, but we do want to disclose your voice. Yeah, maybe you could just step away, to if, finish the call, tell them your our address. Okay, yeah, make it make it, make it easier. Okay, uh, I'll, uh, 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 I'm not talking to you, pizza lady. Uh, yeah. We'll be back. And tell me uh, how much it is, okay, so I can pay for half. Okay. I'm so hungry. Oh, wow, that was fast. What happened? That was the Pizza Hut. That was the Pizza Man? The delivery guy's here. Well, before you go, I heard about this thing. It's like people answer the Pizza Hut, like, or the pizza things, Uh but they're, like, completely naked. What? And what they, like, so the the guy knocking on the door is like, oh, my God, this lady's naked. Usually it's ladies. Uh, But I think, I mean, you want to. I want to do it. Yeah. Let's both do it. Okay. The you, naked. You can, the you naked can be like challenge. hugging me from behind. That would be perfect. Yeah. Then I won't move. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be pretty. St- okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go.